Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to go over the vital nitrogen cycle which takes place in our aquarium. Now we're going to start with a general overview which the majority of you are probably familiar with. But then we're going to talk about a few factors involved in nitrification which you may not know. Let's start our discussion. First off, we want to debunk the common misconception that biological filtration only takes place in your filter. While our filters do support the ability for nitrifying bacteria, or beneficial bacteria, to proliferate to high numbers, they also exist all over the terrain of our aquarium, performing the same process. This process is called nitrification, and it's one of, if not the most important biochemical pathway in our aquarium. Taking a closer look at the stoichiometry of this process shows that toxic ammonia is oxidized to nitrite, and then further oxidized to the relatively non-toxic nitrate. These actions are performed by two separate bacteria, one in the genus Nitrosomonas and the other in the genus Nitrobacter. Nitrosomonas is responsible for the first oxidation, converting toxic ammonia to the slightly less toxic nitrite. This form of nitrogen is then released from the cell as a waste product where it is now available for Nitrobacter to complete the final oxidative step, converting nitrite to the much less toxic nitrate. This fully oxidized form of nitrogen is then released and free to travel throughout our aquarium where it can be used as a substrate in a process called denitrification or used by plants for nitrogen assimilation. We highlight both of these processes in other videos. Now looking back at our first depiction of nitrification, we observe that oxygen is required for this process to occur. It turns out that the ability for beneficial bacteria to detoxify ammonia is limited by the concentrations of available oxygen. This is just one of the reasons why it's really important to have good aeration throughout your aquarium and your filter. Now if you have few or no plants in your tank, you may need to perform more frequent water changes to remove the excess nitrate. This compound is relatively non-toxic, but high concentrations will slowly wear on fish and can be one of the factors which cause algae blooms. To review, nitrification is a vital process in the aquarium that is responsible for the detoxification of ammonia. It takes place primarily in your filter, but also happens throughout your tank. This process is performed by the teamwork of two bacteria in the genus Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter. Oxygen is a limiting factor in nitrification, so make sure your aquarium is well aerated to promote its efficiency. To learn more about these microorganisms, as well as other biological processes responsible for detoxifying ammonia, check out more of our aquarium science videos on our website.